Hi guys, end of day here at the espresso bar and we're going to go through and clean the machine. I'm going to walk you through step by step, so let's get into it. So, let's start off with a few things you're going to need. Hang on a second. That's more like it. This is what we need. We're going to need a group cleaning brush, a blind basket and also our Cafetto espresso cleaner. Come around here and let's get into it. First things first, grab your blind basket. Get your portafiller handle and take out the basket that you have in it. Put the blind basket straight in there. We're going to use a process we call back flushing. All this is doing is bringing water down into that blind basket and then pushing it back up through the head and giving that a nice clean out. So we're just turning the head on for about five seconds, allowing that water to build up in the head and then turning it off and spitting it back through. <laughs> Depending on the machine that you're using, you might actually hear the exhaust system after you release the pressure pushing back through the machine. That's a really good thing, that's what we want to hear. So initially I've just cleaned out any excess residue uh, out of the machine um, before I even put the chemical in. Next thing that we need is our chemical. We use Confetto, uh, it's available through uh, most good coffee suppliers, including ourselves. Uh, for your machine, it's very important that you actually use a full scoop of the powder. Um, if you're using half a scoop, it's not going to do the same job. Uh, it's what all the manufacturers recommend, it's also what we recommend. So we're just putting that directly into the blind basket. Then we're actually going to fill the basket up with water, hot tip. When the basket's full, I'm then going to inject the handle back up into the machine and leave it. What's going to happen is that chemical will foam up and expand and push its way all the way back through the head and strip off any residue that's left in there. It's kind of like soaking your washing or something like that. This is a really good way to get a good thorough wash and a clean out of your machine. So now we're going to wait maybe two, three, four, five minutes. It's, it's not really that imperative that it's there for a massive amount of time, but just give it enough time for that to foam up, for that chemical to go back through and actually properly clean your head. All right, it's been about three minutes now. Um, that chemical should have foamed up, gone back through, done all the hard work. Now what I'm going to do is start a, uh, start a chemical back flush. So exactly the same thing as we did before, we're going to uh, turn the water onto the head, allow that pressure to build up within the head, then release that pressure through the exhaust to get the chemical flowing back through. So on for maybe about five to seven seconds, a little bit longer if you want. And then we're releasing that pressure. We're going to do this maybe 10 times, give it a really good clean and take your time when doing this. Some machines may actually have an auto clean function, uh, but we can manually do what the auto clean function does anyway. Uh, auto clean functions just make your life a little bit easier uh, and you know, a little bit, bit of a time saver there. All right, so we've actually back flushed that about 10 times to give that a really good clean and what we're left with is still chemical in the blind basket here as you can see there's all that foam still in there and we're going to take advantage of all that chemical to help clean our seals and also the rest of our our, our, our head in our machine I'm going to grab my group cleaning brush and dip it in that chemical and then get right up in there and clean the seal and all the way around including the shower screen a nice scrub's imperative here, just to get rid of any residual crap that's really going to be stuck to it. Alright, so once we've given them a really good scrub and we've finished with that, we're also going to use that chemical in a different way. We'll get rid of our group cleaning brush. I'm actually going to engage the handle only halfway so it's not actually sealed. What this will do is it'll allow water to pump into the blind basket but then overflow the blind basket and rinse all that seal and get that nice and clean. So again, turning that on. Now you've got to watch your hands at this point because water can run down the handle uh, and it is hot but you can see that's just overflowing and rinsing all around the sides. After we've done that, we're getting rid of any chemical and we've got a nice clean blind basket. We're then going to clean that chemical residue off by doing a water back flush in the same way that we did the chemical. So just engaging your handle until it seals again, turning your machine on to pump water into the head, 
for, again for about five to 10 seconds and then releasing that pressure. Exactly the same thing as we did before. We're gonna do this again about five to 10 times. All right, so we've given that a good clean out now. That should be really, really clean. One way you can kind of check that is to run water into your blind basket and you should have nice, clean, chemical residue free water in that blind basket. The first thing we need to do in the morning when we come in is actually season that head, but that's something that I'll show you in a later video. Now, two grip machine, I'm just gonna repeat exactly the same process on the other side here and uh, we should be good to go for the next day. Uh, that's how I clean the machine. Make sure you hit the like button on this video, subscribe to our channel for other hot tips on how to help you in your cafe day to day. Thanks for watching. Dancing ladies, cut away to something else cool.